I've spent the last three months studying consumer trend reports and analyzing endless amounts of data to determine the best categories and products to sell on Amazon in 2024. I'll start out by explaining what this year's consumer is interested in, then we'll find the top categories for this consumer and finish it off with products to sell in each one of these categories. So this year, we have to sell products in categories that the baby boomer generation is interested in when shopping on Amazon, and here's why. Compared to Gen Z, boomers have a higher percentage of credit card ownership, higher incomes, more purchasing power, and are purchasing products online more often. These 401k strapped retirees have more money at their disposal and are making more Amazon purchases than ever before, so you know we need to market products toward them. Another consumer trend that we discussed last year that is also applicable this year is the importance of sustainability. Studies show that 78% of US consumers would consider a sustainable lifestyle as important to them, and 60% of US consumers would pay more for a product with sustainable packaging than one without it. So don't hesitate to factor sustainable materials into your products or packaging, even if it costs you more. Consumers are willing to compensate you for doing this, and this can lead to increased margins. The last trend that I wanna share with you is that consumers are more focused on personal care and the product's journey throughout the manufacturing process than ever before. 60% of shoppers in the US, Europe, and China want more transparency about the production journey to make ethical buying decisions and their interest in personal care products is peaking. So now that we better understand what this consumer looks like for 2024, let's move on to categories that we want to avoid as well as categories that we want to sell in. First off, let's focus on the categories to avoid. These three categories are where consumers are spending less money, have been impacted largely by inflation, and ones that are difficult to rank products in. Electronics is the first category to avoid as 35% of consumers are spending less in this category. This is likely due to the rising cost of electronics alongside inflation, and consumer savings have been dwindling over the past few years. Less money in people's pockets only means one thing for consumers, they're gonna be focusing on products they need versus products they want, like electronics. Second is home and kitchen, which comes to me as a surprise since it's the most popular category for third-party Amazon sellers. 34% of consumers are spending less money in this category and search trends have been declining for these type of products. I assume that this will continue until we begin to see the housing market pick back up. Lastly is the category of garden and outdoor. Only 7% of consumers stated that they are actually spending more in this category in 2024, so it's definitely a slow growing category. Also, it's extremely seasonal, so as a new seller, you don't want to get mixed up in missing key times for demand. All right, before we get into the top products for 2024, let's talk about the categories that we should be focusing on this year. First, we have personal care. As I mentioned before, consumers are more focused on taking care of themselves than ever before. Additionally, 13% of consumers are spending more money in this category, while over 55% are spending the same amount as before. Second is the clothing category. 16% of consumers claim that they are spending more in this category than before, and we're seeing an interesting shift in the baby boomer generation as they're now focusing on purchasing clothes through e-commerce outlets like Amazon than before. Lastly is the pet supplies category. Pet ownership continues to increase to record levels with over 55% of US households owning a dog or cat. And this is the lowest category with the percentage of consumers who say they'll stop spending as much money. Demand for pet supplies like toys and essentials will rise in 2024. All right, drum roll please. Now let's cover the top products to sell for this year in each one of these categories. And we're gonna start out with the personal care category. Now, before we take a look at the data, I just wanna mention that when I determine the demand for each one of these products, I used a combination of Jungle Scout and Google Trends data to find niches that have been rising in search volume demand. Additionally, I kept the 2024 consumer's interest in mind when analyzing potential product ideas. The last thing I want to mention is that you should always do your own personal research for the products that I'm about to uncover, as well as with any type of investment when it comes to selling on Amazon. My goal is to share this information with you so you can learn from it and make your own educated decisions rather than taking my advice blindly. All right, the first product in this category is the silicone body scrubber that has been trending upward in demand since the start of 2022 and really took off 
Q4 of this past year. On Amazon alone, we're seeing over 300,000 monthly searches, which is indicative of a high demand product. Next, we have detergent sheets. I would recommend adding an element of sustainability to this product, such as an eco-friendly ingredient. Glueless wigs is another popular product and fits in nicely with the baby boomer generation. This product has a stable unit sold history for the past two years and is trending upward in terms of search volume despite a recent dip. Pimple Patches is another product on my radar ever since I saw upward trends last year at this time. We're currently at an all-time high in interest for this product and it provides a private labeling opportunity to really grow a brand name within this niche. Lastly is the Hair Wax Stick. This niche has sold more units in the past year than PS5s alone. An interesting combo set would be this product in a wig together marketed towards baby boomers. Next, we have a few products in the clothing category, and we're gonna start out with baggy white pants and baggy jeans. While it appears the 1990s clothing trend is coming right back around. If you need a similar product to base success on, check out True Religion's products for baggy pants and jeans. Staying on the train of pants and jeans, our next product is cargo pants. In particular, green cargo pants for women seems to be trending more often than other variations. Grip Socks is another product that continues to rise in demand every single year. This product places a rubber-like material on the back of each sock to prevent the sock from rolling in. Keep in mind that this product experiences large seasonal spikes during the holidays, but demand is still relatively strong throughout the rest of the year. Our last clothing product is Bamboo Pajamas. Bamboo appears to be an eco-friendly material that clothing companies are using much more often now. This ties in nicely with sustainability and also personal care. The last category of products to discuss is pet supplies, which is by far my favorite category for this upcoming year. I just love the idea of selling a private label product in a category that's been growing in demand for the past five years. Additionally, the baby boomer generation has one of the largest percentages of pet ownership compared to other generations. First off, we have an interactive cat toy. The rising search volume charts are not as pretty for this niche, but I love the fact that the average unit sold history is extremely stable. Another similar product for dogs though, is the dog stimulation toys niche. Competition is relatively low in this niche with a few listings with under 100 ratings on the first landing page. The Snuffle Ball is our next product niche. This interactive toy hides small, bite-sized treats inside it and encourages dogs to use their senses and smell to locate the treats. It's a new type of product to the market and it also offers a lot of areas for differentiation. The Pupsicle is another stimulation toy for dogs that's branded by Woof. This brings up an important lesson to always perform your trademark and patent research before entering a product niche. The idea here is that this type of toy is in demand, but do not sell the exact same product or else you may face some issues. Our final top product for this category is the cat hairbrush. Now differentiating this product may be a little bit more difficult, so I would recommend really focusing on the sustainable elements of that product and to really sell that unique feature compared to your competition. That wraps us up and now you know the consumer trends for 2024, the categories that are trending and the products to sell within those categories to attract more customers. Let me know in the comments which category or products you're most interested in and what you plan to sell this coming year.